revivalhouse.net. I'm Aaron. Got Zach here. We got another commentary for y'alls. Today, we're going to do one of the only movies I ever wanted to walk out on. And the only <laughs> reason I didn't walk out on it is because I didn't want to be rude to my friend, which was Riverman, who's not here today, by the way, um, because I thought, you know, he probably wants to finish it. While all the while, when we got out of the movie... He said he wanted to walk out, too, and he was thinking the same thing, and he didn't want to do it because of me. And I'm like, man, had we only known. Had we only had cell phones back then, we could have just, like, uh, you know, texted one or the other and be like, this sucks. Let's go. <laughs> but uh, we're going to do Jason X. Jason X. Jason motherfucking X. And I haven't watched it since it came out in theaters. So I'm kind of wondering if maybe I could possibly have an appreciation for it all these years later. You know, uh, maybe if I – because the thing is, when we went and saw Jason X – I mean, I know the commercial should have led us to believe it was going to be stupid. Like, how could we not think it was going to be stupid? But mm -hmm. at the same time, we still weren't expecting that, you know? Yeah. So now that I know it is what it is and it's hokey, maybe I can learn to have an appreciation for it for just like I do some of the shitty Leprechaun movies, Leprechaun in Space or whatever. Maybe I, maybe it's good for a good laugh, but I remember mm -hmm. being really shitty, but. Mm hmm but I don't think we should waste too much time getting into it. Uh, fun fact, Zach already watched this today. He's an Uber fan. <laughs> no. A I just happened to watch it, and then I, I sent you something while I was watching it. Like I think it was just like, man, Jason looks shitty through most of this movie. And then <laughs> it just so happens that you were like, we should do that movie. So I'm watching it again. <laughs> fucking, he looks like the super shredder in this. That's what that, he fucking that, reminds the, you of. Yeah, the Uber J. I'm talking about his normal look when he starts. Yeah, and I saw that shit. too. So th we're watching it on Voodoo. Um, obviously downloaded through Voodoo. So I don't really know. Like when we start playing this, it probably just goes right into the uh, the production logos or what. Mm -hmm. Okay, what is the what is it? Is this uh, who who fucking has this? Is it Dimension or what? I think it's New Line. New Line. Okay, I yeah. What am I saying? I don't fucking know. Um, all right. Why did I say dimension? Well, probably just Who, shit on this movie the whole time. Probably. Um, but yeah, so let's just get started. We'll do a three, two, one count. And uh, yeah, man, let's get spooky in space. Three, two, one, play. Hell yeah. Do, 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 do. Why was I? I was totally freezing up. I mean, of course, this is new line. Why is it all choppy, Zach? Uh, it's probably just because it's loading. <laughs> I've, I've had this fucking thing loading, and it, it's good now. It's just choppy there at the second. Yeah, yeah, mine did a little bit too. I had that shit loading for like 20 minutes. We're experimenting with uh, sharing Voodoo accounts, and let me just say it was a pain in my ass. It was uh more complicated than it needed to be. Yeah, Am I watching like Jason? Is this Spawn? <laughs> <laughs> did we accidentally put in Spawn? <laughs> Yeah, they made it freaking really uh, overly annoying. Cause like it was like, oh yeah, I sent him my uh, an invite to have all my shit in his voodoo, and it, it, he set it up. It's like, oh, we need your credit card. Okay, he put in one, didn't want to work. Put another one, didn't want to work. Finally, the third one worked, right? Yeah. And, all, and then it was asking like, oh yeah, link your uh, your fucking ultraviolet. Which he didn't remember his password, so he had to. I don't remember my password, and then go to his fucking email address, and all this shit is crazy. And then it, it, it wanted him to do something that he thought was asking him to l load in again, and it turns out they just wanted him to make shit up. It was fucking crazy. Look at that eye. Well, see, I'm hoping I like this movie has a certain uh, aesthetic to it, and I'm hoping. Maybe I could find some sort of appreciation for what it is, kind of like I do uh, Alien Resurrection, right? Or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, I almost called that Alien in Space, but they're all in space. Leprechaun 4. Alien Resurrection. Yeah, the fourth one's always fucking weird. Yeah. <sighs> Leprechaun 4. I, I watched Leprechaun 4 again, and I did. I enjoyed it a lot more. Yeah, see, the only time I ever saw Le Leprechaun 4 back in the day, I watched it when I first rented it, and I'm like, what the fuck is this? And it was just too, it went too far left. Um, and then I watched it uh, some months back, and knowing not to take it seriously, and obviously having since seen the Hood movies, you know, and it's like, it, it was still horrible, but it was funny. Mm -hmm. Oh, big is good. 
Harry Manfredini did the music for this. I didn't know that it's completely different. Visual effects by Toy Box. Check out my Toy Box. That's an ICP song. He, he's probably a juggalo. Oh, hey, fun fact. Uh, fucking Kane Hodder's a juggalo. No fucking way. I think he is. <laughs> yeah, my ass. Speaking of... I, I, <laughs> I, next time we see him at a convention, we can bring that up. Speaking of juggalos, man, uh, I went through our YouTube, and I was obviously commenting on some of the fine folks that have been commenting on some of our most recent videos, uh, which, by the way, uh, it's really cool. Uh, a lot of feedback and a lot of cool stuff. Uh, but I looked at the history, and I saw somebody has been looking at videos like My Homies by ICP. <laughs> That was me. And then I watched the My Homies video. I'm like, this is the worst fucking song I've well, ever now they, seen. Now the cat's out of the bag. I was looking up the fucking instrumental and I'm I'm doing a cover of it. Are you really? Yeah. <laughs> I actually almost finished it today. God. <laughs> I wanted it to be a surprise, damn it. <laughs> well, you, you left a paper trail. It's like buying me a Christmas <laughs> present and leaving the receipt on the kitchen table. You know, you, what, you've left it where I could find. It, this, he just looks so bad. Is it just me or do you think so too? Uh, Yeah, it looks really shitty. He looks too much like Kane Hodder, if that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, exactly. Like, they're not really hiding. Like, usually, I don't know. I notice this movie looks really generic. Like, it has a, a sci-fi original movie well, just like Leprechaun vibe. 4 and just like uh, Alien Resurrection, yeah. For we a while, like early 2000s, any movie like that was shot in Canada had this really generic look to it. This yeah. is one of them. Like Cube? Yeah. Not so much that. I, maybe I just didn't notice it with that one. Cube 2, definitely. I like Cube, man. I do, too. It, they did a really good job on like No Money. Put that bag over that motherfucker. <laughs> we got Cronenberg for some reason. For reals? Yeah. He has a cameo in this for some reason. Weird. I'm getting ready to she, sit on your fucking ass, baby. She's attractive. Yeah, she's the main chick. I notice there's a couple like bootleg actors in this. Like she almost has like a... Maybe they were they cast her because she had like a Jessica Alba look. Maybe Jessica Alba wasn't really a thing when this came out. I don't think was she too much. Maybe there's a couple of people I noticed though. It's weird. I'll bring them up as they come up. Maybe I'm mixing up Jessica Alba with whoever. I remember like when this came out. Uh, I was so excited. I was in, I think, sixth or seventh grade when it came out. This was one like fucking Bride of Chucky that didn't come to our theater. And I was really excited to see it. And when it finally came to video, I was begging my mom, like, can I just stay home and so I can go rent it and watch it? She's like, no, you've already missed too much school and shit. So I was all excited. Then I finally get out and like I put it in and damn. I was disappointed. You know what this looks like, this whole scene, like this setting? It looks like uh, I'm watching a cutscene, a FMV cutscene from a PC game like Wing Commander. <laughs> like, and it's all these actors in front of a green screen. Yeah, it does. Yeah. It just has a weird, cheap look. It screams, where's Mark Hamill or Malcolm McDowell? <laughs> like they need to show up. But, like, in theory, I should like this movie because that's my biggest gripe with the Jason series is that too many of them are pretty much the same movie, right? That's why I like Jason Takes Manhattan, um, mm -hmm. as you know, at the top of the heap. So, it's like, I, I should like this one. So, I want to give it another shot. Yeah. It goes by fast, I noticed. Well, that's always good. For horror yeah. movies, I'm cool with that. It gets in and gets out. See, like, he still has remnants of the, you know, shape-shifting and teleportation. Because how the fuck did he get over there? What the fuck? Now, will this movie give some exposition on how he's in outer space now? And what year this is, et cetera, et cetera? 
this kind of, t- I think it starts out even in the future from when it was made, just kind of, I think they were given leeway to anybody that made a movie after like, oh, this just takes place a little bit before Jason X. Because mm-hmm. according to this timeline, he, I don't know, maybe this is 2000 something, like 20 or something. It's sad to be any, but I forgot. But at some point here in a second, he gets locked in this fro cryogenic thing. And uh, like 400 years passes. So I assume they wanted like, oh, we're going to. So 400 more years is about to pass. Yeah. Then how is this chick the main chick if she's 400 years ago? She gets stuck in there too. Oh, okay. Well, you're ruining the movie now, man. I'm just kidding. See, Um, it just looks like a Kane A guy in a mask. It looks like Kane Hodder wearing a mask. He doesn't look like Jason. But it looks like they shaved his head and then just, you know, put some glue on it and then shaved their pubes over his head. (laughs) Because that's exactly how his hair kind of like, kind of like a mullet kind of. And uh, Jason X, whatever, or not Jason X, but Jason Goes to Hell when he's playing the bodyguard. So this movie's not canon then because Jason Goes to Hell, obviously, you know, it had him going to hell. He was dead and blown up and don't acknowledge it. it. Maybe, I guess you could say that, you know, Freddy vs. Jason takes place right after that, and then this takes place sometime after. This is supposed to take place after Freddy vs. Jason? Okay. Yeah, I guess you're right. I mean, it's just all over the place. Oh, does she go in there because that's the only way she's going to survive? She just gets stab locked wound? in. Yeah. He, he uh, put his machete through there so it gets out. Which I'd stab machete, her with my machete. I don't think there's any way that machete would have uh, cut Not through the that. Door. Yeah, that thick metal shit. He just looks like he looks like he's wearing bad cosplay. Yeah, it just looks. It just has a bad look to it. Well, I might enjoy this movie, man, because she's nice to look at. She's got a little yeah. dry jizz on the corner of her lips. See it? A little dry jizz. You yeah, see that it? was that was me. Oh, okay. Seriously, that's what it looked like. There's a couple hot chicks in this movie. I, if I remember right, it has that one um, nerd stoner kid from the first Harold and Kumar. No touch. He's got the big bag of weed. Doesn't it have oh, him in it? Yeah, yeah. The weird, the weird looking dude. Yeah, he looks weird. He looks like a rat. Really scary got big, looking. Got a big Jew nose. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's him. Did they uh, either they just found the Turtles lair in Turtles 2, the underground subway, or they found the underground subway in Ghostbusters 2, one or the other. That's what it looks mm-hmm. like. You're going to get the slime, baby. Hello? Hello? I don't, under- I don't understand why so many people hate that movie. I love Ghostbusters 2, man. Y- you ever watch Red Letter Media, their YouTube videos? You ever no. hear them? No. Ha- they put out like a commentary, and I was listening to it, and they were, they were shitting all over it. I, d- I don't get it. I'll have to tell you a joke. I hate that I can't tell it on the podcast because it's just uh, it's just too inappropriate. But <laughs> it actually, uh, but I'll have to tell you this joke that I was that somebody told me when I was a kid um, after we're done with the podcast. And uh, but uh, about Ghostbusters too, and it's just just ridiculous. fucking say it. Bitch. I can't trust me. I can't. I can't. Well, if it's too bad, I'll, I'll freaking beep it out. <laughs> and it getting beeped will be funny. Because people will have to guess what it, what the punch. Okay, was. okay, you got to promise. You got to promise you're gonna beep out everything. It's gonna be offensive. <laughs> yeah. I might as well not then, because people just feel like, what the fuck? Be like, it's what not. The it's fuck? not something. It's not something that I condone. It just can't. It just reminds me every time of like these kids when we were watching Ghostbusters two when I was a kid, and somebody said something really immature. Um, <laughs> That reminds me of that that thing I was going to do for the the beginning of the the Detroit Rock City commentary but you didn't let me. What? Uh, oh not. yeah, don't yeah, don't yeah, don't answer my question. <laughs> <laughs> what's funny too? What's funny is uh I was going to do it and just just make that the thing and not even ask you cuz I was like he won't fucking care, but then I thought maybe I should because he did say it in the thing. So maybe I should ask him first, and you're like, no, don't do it. He looks like he got bukkakied. Yeah. And that looks like Eddie Vedder. Doesn't that fucker look like Eddie Vedder, that main guy right there? He's the bootleg Eddie Vedder? He is. He looks. I mean, I guess you could say if we're going actor, the bootleg Jason Bateman. The other chick that is hot is kind of like a bootleg Nev Campbell or something. 
And she's yeah, got so like the- that guy right there, He, I guess he could be a bootleg Jason Bateman, this guy at Jason right now, but he looks more like a bootleg Eddie Vedder. Yeah. There he is. Yeah. Why is this guy on any kind of fucking mission? Look at him. He doesn't look employable to me. Ha <laughs> ha, I got stuck to his hand, comic relief. Stupid. Wouldn't his hand have to be wet? And if it was, <laughs> yeah. why would he have picked something up? He just he just uh, beat his meat. It is wet. <laughs> look, she got bukkake too. <laughs> look at her face. It's a good thing that like this happened and nobody found it. So that happened in a big facility. Wouldn't the government have come and like found this shit? Because apparently she says like, "Oh yeah, we couldn't kill him. We tried everything. So we thought if we just you know incapacitate." him we could figure we could just keep him frozen until we figure something out but apparently they didn't give a fuck they're just ah i guess he killed everybody in the facility fuck it i don't don't send anybody to check see this guy's kind of like a bootleg freddy robert england Uh, is that the guy from um black sheep just call me cash (sighs) whoa look at that cgi blood that was CGI blood before CGI yeah, it was. blood, dude. It was. How are you going to get fucking hurt by Jason when he's not even like... He's fucking... He's, he's asleep, pretty much. Dude, that looked... Uh, I did, This might be like the first fucking movie to have CGI blood. Yeah, I don't know. I remember when this came out, they were making a big deal about how like... Oh, this is the first time we've ever... Uh, shot a movie on film and then immediately converted it to digital before the editing or something. I forgot. Why would they do that? I don't know. It's been a fucking... It's been a while. This looks like I'm watching fucking Chronicles of Riddick or something. Yeah, that's the guy from Black Sheep. Just call me Cash. I, I haven't seen that movie in a while. The guy that gives all the dirt to for, uh, to the, uh, the, the, the mayor or the governor or whatever. Yeah, uh, they t- they're taking the pictures of fucking Chris Farley drinking with the kids. A smoking, snorting, shooting. I want to party with you. <laughs> smoking, snorting, shooting. <laughs> I want to party with you. That was hilarious, dude. I want to watch that movie again. It's great, dude. That movie, that movie fucking makes me die laughing every time I watch it. I think it's on uh, Amazon. I love it when he's. <laughs> I like it when he's calling Robbie. He's running around the fucking. He's running around his like uh, office or whatever, and he hits his fucking head. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a duck, a midget. <laughs> Would my grandmother give me the finger? <laughs> yeah, we were actually gonna do a, a movie on Amazon before we decided to do this. They added fucking a couple of earnest movies on there. I'm excited to finally watch uh, Rides Again. Is that on there? Yeah. You didn't see that picture I sent you? I'll have to watch that because I haven't. I don't know if I've ever watched it, to be honest yeah, with you. Yeah, I mean, I haven't or, seen it so Or if I have, it's going to be one of those things that I repressed and it's going to come back to that's me. That's the one that's like hard to find for some reason. So, that. But I'm excited to do uh, Slam Dunk Ernest, actually, because mm-hmm. that's the last one I remember liking. Yeah. And I don't think it's amazing, but I think it's the last okay one. Yeah. It's fun. Oh, and uh, Ernest Goes to School, they added to, and uh, Ernest Goes to Africa. Ernest Goes to School, I wonder if I liked that one. I can't remember. I remember liking it when I was a kid. It's been a while. I, all this I remember is, is like... This is yeah. almost... This is a half step above Leprechaun 4 CG. Yeah. It's not good. Not very good. I feel. I still feel like I'm playing Wing Commander 4 on the PC. Yeah. Everything about it, man. They should have done a crossover where Jason's fighting, like, the alien. Yeah, that would have been cool, actually. I mean, they're not going to make it any worse. If anybody could take on the alien, it might be Jason. (laughs) It's funny, though, because we just saw him, uh, like, we saw around his eyes, it just looks like a guy wearing a mask, right? There's no, like, makeup. Yeah, Uh uh-huh. Like... The movie before this, he his head looked like a fuck, like it was cancerous or something. It had like little Jason goes to hell. He had like lumps on his head. Yeah, he, he looked like a swollen testicle. His head looked like a swollen red testicle. Yeah, there's the Nev Campbell bootleg. I like that shirt. Her? 
No, it's not a bootleg Nick Campbell. You'll notice even, it later. They, they You'll notice it later. They don't look frozen to me, man. They just look like glazed donuts. <laughs> yeah. Why are these people even doing on the ship? Like, why? Why are they? Oh, it's that guy. Isn't that the guy? Where have I seen that fucking guy? Is that? I'm not sure. <sighs> Is that the guy that becomes the leprechaun on Are You Afraid of the Dark? <laughs> you know, I'm talking about that leprechaun episode. Yeah. I know I've seen him. Actually, I'm gonna look him up right now. Because it's driving me crazy. She pretty cute. I like those shoulders. You're showing some skin, baby. Some oh, skin. your shoulders are sexy. I want a nut on your shoulders. It feels like we're watching like Star Trek Deep Space Nine, and it's not even up to that caliber. Yeah, that's what I thought while we were watching too. Wish I knew that fucking guy's name. I'm trying to find him. Oh yeah, did I tell you that a bu- like a, a collection of Are You Afraid of the Dark is on Voodoo? But I'm not sure if it's the whole series or not. No way, really? Yeah. What do they charge for it? Um, I don't remember. I think it's on sale though. I'll have to check it out, man. I found some guy on uh, Facebook that does bootleg ones, and he he gets like he prints out a cover and everything for it, and it looks good. I thought you were gonna say you found some guy in Grinder. <laughs> she's cut. She's cutting the panties off. Yeah, why are they cutting off the panties? Like they don't even have to. The cuts like above. They don't this, even, I know this why. Ca- oh, dude, does he have like a fucking weird thing tied up in his hair, like fucking Polly Shore? And it's fucking weird, man. <laughs> that little anchor, pink handkerchief he had in his hair. For for a movie that's supposed to take place in the distant, distant future, because this is four hundred years later officially, right? Because mm-hmm. they're unfreezing them. Why are they? They they they're dressed like uh, they're kind of dressed like the nineties, all super colorful and wacky. And, mm-hmm. Amazing. And the English language hasn't like changed at all. You think it would? Probably. Like slang and whatnot. Probably, yeah. I guess you're right, because they talked a little bit more proper, a little bit more English, uh, England-based a couple hundred years ago. Look at that guy's faggy shirt. (laughs) So, like, in 400 years, that's going to be hip. That looks like shit, man. Look, we got got consoles today that look better than those fucking shitty graphics on that interface. Look at that (laughs) old-ass fucking uh, Mac he's got. Yeah. Like, they should have those... uh, I was confused by what this is. They call it ants. What the fuck? They're like, I so I guess they're like little ants that fix damaged tissue. It looks like computer generated graphics that yeah. go over a living body. It looks like shit. Yeah, it looks bad. Looks like fucking Stargate shit. Yeah. Just look at the shot. What? You would never guess this was probably their teeth. Movie. They were supposed to be ants. That's what they called them. Uh, well, we well, zoomed in and showed little bugs. Yeah. What the fuck? What? Why is she taking out a booger out of his eye? <laughs> I guess that's his eye. Looks like a grape. She gonna eat it? Yeah, they reveal like in the this guy. Movie. <laughs> the guy ate his heart. <laughs> yeah, from <laughs> that was a great scene. That's probably the best scene in that movie. When he eats the heart, the, that yeah. that uh, tension. Mm-hmm. Boom boom. And that guy was probably the best at fucking playing Jason. That wasn't actually Jason. He should have just stayed in that body the whole movie. If he was going to switch bodies. Oh, the black guy? Yeah. I haven't seen... Um, he was creepy. I, if I recall, I haven't seen that movie since it came out, so I might just be remembering it wrong. But if I if I recall correctly, that black guy is the same guy from Rocky Five. Touch me and I'll soup. Touch me I think and he, I'll Yeah, suit. it is. I think so. With the gap and the glass, you know. Touch me and I'll sue. He's the Don King ripoff. Mm-hmm. Sue me for what? I ain't got anything. I like that movie. Rocky Five? Fuck you yeah. right now. I'm I done like with it. this podcast. No, I'm, fuck I think yourself. It's okay. Fuck everybody you know. No, what? 
That, that's an abortion. We're talking about a movie that aborted the greatest movie of all time, the original Rocky, which Rocky 1 is the greatest movie of all time. That movie is a fucking abomination, man. It's abomination. Oh. You are an abomination. <laughs> How do you want it? Broken leg? That reminds oh. me. Did you see the cult of Chucky? I yeah, the Cult of Chucky trailer. It looks fucking wacky, but it looks interesting. It looks like the definition of schlock. I want to see it I'm though. I'm fine with, yeah. <laughs> I want to see it. I'm actually cool with Chucky's new look. Um, eh, you know, kind of cuz it I'm okay with it. I don't really care. It. I just you know, I'm just I do like the setting of in a mental hospital. It's kind of cool, and I kind of like the twist on cuz you know, calling it the Cult of Chucky, now we know what the Cult of Chucky is. It's clearly his victims. Yeah. You know, like these people that claim Chucky's a real doll, yada, yada, yada. And, you know, they're not like, uh, they're dubbed a cult of Chucky, I guess. I think it looks fine. Um, I like the last one a lot. So as long as it's as good as they that. They should have made the movie like a Jonestown cult that worships Chucky. That'd be fun. Yeah, but that's 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 what was predictable, right? If they would have went that route. And I thought that would have been stupid. <laughs> you would have had a bunch of people like uh, Alexis Arquette, a bunch of Damien's. Yeah. Schmucky. Oh, don't tell me Schmucky's one of those dolls that wets his pants. That'd be awesome. And he gets him his drink to Kool-Aid at the end. Yeah. There's bootleg uh, John Malkovich, I guess. The guy on the screen? <laughs> He has a lisp. No, it's not a bootleg John Malkovich. That's just who I thought of. You ever see Being John Malkovich? I've never actually watched it. I mean, I know what it is. It's good. I like it. It's wacky. But yeah, but you like serious. Rocky Five, so I don't believe anything you say anymore. <laughs> None, nothing you like holds any weight with me. It's None one of those movies that I like since I was a kid. It's probably mostly nostalgia. Hey, what's that behind your ear? I got a fag ring for you to wear. Ooh. <laughs> Gives that fucking fucking earring to his kid. What the fuck is his problem? What the fuck is his problem? Rocky can't decide if he's smart or stupid. You know, it's like in the first one he's he's stupid but in a lovable way. In part two, they decide to make him full blown retarded. Like, like he can't he's read. Gotten hit uh, in the head, man. He but he can act like he can't read in the second one. The third one, he's obviously brilliant all of a sudden. Now that he's got money, he's a champ, he's like fucking smart. Like, let's throw the dumb thing out the window. Four, same thing. If I could change, if I could change, if I could change. He's if smart. I could change. Everyone could change. <laughs> and fucking all of Russia stands up and claps like my ass. <laughs> it like, was so such, it was such a generic speech, too. <laughs> yeah, it's so stupid. Like, wait, wait a second. Like they didn't even know that he had a problem. Like, what? You're a fucking racist? We didn't know that. Like, you are you have something against Russia? Um, yeah, it was kind of out of nowhere. And then five, he got stupid again, kind of. It's just, I don't know. Tommy Gunn. Tommy Gunn, man, yeah. Wasn't he supposed to actually be a real uh, boxer, but he died? He, he is a real boxer. Uh, I heard he died. Like he did, he died of AIDS. Yes. Oh, okay, yeah, he died of he died in Omaha, Nebraska, my hometown, uh, mm-hmm. where River lives. Uh, See, look at pro- that open up shirt. I just want to, I just want to shoot my nut all up on her chest. <laughs> that uh, that reminds me. Uh, there was a response to your speaking of nut. Um, <laughs> there was a response to your comment about the is Phil Phil on Selma. I bet he shoots a fat ass nut. <laughs> 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 there was a comment. Um, the the user known as Trendkill commented to. I just read it actually, and I thought it was funny. Um, I'm yeah, actually I, s- find I it. saw it. Yeah. You saw it. Yeah, he shot a nut on TV. I want to see it. Oh man! Was, so she's gonna is she, uh, she gonna reveal some actual like yeah, prosthetics? She could, why is she even cutting his he- face like his mask off? Like just wait till he fucking see. Look now he has like a creepy face, but yeah, he didn't look. He doesn't look like Kane Hodder anymore. Yeah, we know he doesn't really look like that. Whenever the mask is on, it's funny. Yeah, it's all, tweaking his nipples. Good. The fuck? Yeah, this is the scene that should have let everybody know what kind of movie this is. It's just so fucking goofy. It's she almost like too a, goofy. She, 
She's a bootleg Rose McGowan. Maybe. What the? Why? Okay, okay. So what I don't understand is why is she dominating him and he's wearing the lingerie and she's twisting his nipples yet she's calling him daddy? Because they didn't, they they figured we wouldn't have expected it with the scene they, before. They didn't do their research, man, on how that works. And she's wearing a weird out, a different outfit that she's never wearing again in the movie. Someone taking a diarrhea shit? He's got anal leakage. Seepage, yeah, it's gross. Yeah, they're, they're revealing this movie too that Jason has the ability to uh, to regrow like damaged limbs and tissue. Why? I guess just to explain why he keeps coming back. Why he can like get stabbed in the eye in part eight, but then still have an eye. Well, how the f- his whole fucking body got shot up and blown up, and fucking Jason goes to hell. How did he get conjured, and how did he get his body back? Like at the end of Jason Goes to Hell. Yeah, they just decide to ignore it. Look, that's so fucking fake. <laughs> yeah, he's got this robot, and he's never had sex with it. I'd be having sex with it all the time. I want a robot that I could have sex with. That'd be great. You could program what it says, like, oh, Zach, fuck me. But how would you program a robot that doesn't have any, like, human functions to do what it is that gets you off? Like, you could never get a robot to take a shit on your chest. Because oh, robots that's don't okay. take. They can't shit, Just man. put some, yeah, I could put a little pack on the back to fill with chocolate pudding or something. <laughs> no, that's a space peanut. See, Jason can sense that someone's getting ready to have sex. I think he can smell when, like... Is that what fuck? that's supposed to really be? He senses, like, somebody's having sex? I guess. I, I think he can smell whenever the, the prostate, you know, swells up. <laughs> this is this little I, moan here. <sighs> I never even put that together when I watched this movie. <sighs> yeah, but he, it's, it is the sex. That's so stupid. I think it's just supposed to be a tongue-in-cheek reference to the series. Like, yeah, he hates it when they do that, I guess. Well, that's why he drowned, man. Yeah, you think he'd be like, I want some. Oh, uh. <laughs> so stupid. The, uh, the, the, the Friday the 13th game. I've been playing it, and they kind of, I don't know if it's going to have something to do with the story, but. There's these things you can get called the Pamela tapes, and it's basically like the character of Pamela Voorhees talking to uh, some police officers. It's like they recorded the conversation. In it, it's revealed that Jason's father wasn't his biological father, and he was actually the product of a rape. Like Freddy? I guess so. I was thinking when when they kind of hinted at that, I thought it was going to turn out that maybe the rapist was related to her since he's kind of inbred looking. I, I, I like movies. that was cool. I mean, seeing that. Yeah, that's a good kill. That's pretty good. It's like a it's like a Mortal Kombat fatality. Sub Zero. But, but yeah, what's with that? What's that? that I was head, unnecessary. I was, I was heading somewhere with that story, and it slipped my mind. Unnecessary backstory, though. Unnecessary. Ba- Why does he got to be raped, though? Why does he be a product of rape? He's already know. fucked up. He has enough that fucked him up. I mean, yeah. Does it take out the whole? Ch-ch-ch-ch? Uh, he does it a couple times because it is Harry Manfredini doing it. I noticed, like Harry Manfredini, he Harry Manfredini had nothing to do with Part Eight. So they didn't use it in part eight. Instead, they have him going. So he's like saying his own name. Well, no, there's like two. So the ones that I've heard is there's, but there's also I could have swore it said kill 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 Jason says kill Jason maybe kill, yeah comma maybe Jason that's, maybe kill, that's kill, what kill, it said Jason. in part eight. Kill 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 Jason. Harry Manfredini did all of them except for part eight, and he kind of co-did part seven because it seems like he started out doing part seven and then what's to keep him from using the cl- the the 
the audio sna- sample in the eighth one? Uh, well, well, he technically made it up completely for the for his original score. But I'm sh- I, maybe I don't know if it's one of those things where they just never asked him if they could use it or what, whatever. I assume they probably asked him because he does do it in like like Freddy vs. Jason. He might have he might have worked on Freddy vs. Jason though. So I want to track down this actress. I wonder what she's doing now. We'll see how desperate she is for money. She's hot. <laughs> how bad does she want work, Zach? I don't know. She looks like Olivia Munn and like, you remember that chick from Attack of the Show or whatever the fuck? Yeah, it's was? Olivia Munn. She's yeah. And I had another actress in my mind, but I think she's actually hotter than Olivia Munn. Yeah. Aliens. Did he say a girl that he's got a bigger dick than him? What do he say? Whose balls are bigger than his? Oh, close. I'd fuck that. I, she got balls. I'd let her rest them on my face. <laughs> <sighs> Fucking gross, man. That's sick. You wouldn't suck a dick if it was attached to titties like that? <laughs> no. Why would I care about titties if there was a fucking cock in my mouth, for God's sake? That's disgusting. Well, it's already in your mouth. You might as well suck it. <laughs> Would you suck the cock if what shot out was a million dollars? <laughs> Probably. I mean, you you have to means you have to get it off. Oh man! Well, if that's all that's going to come out, it wouldn't be that bad. But if there was come in the uh, also, that would suck. Okay, so no, it's like cum that's worth a million dollars. So you have to actually take it, but you have to spit it into a vial and oh, take it to the man. bank, and they'll give you a million dollars. You got to keep it. it in your mouth, and you got to carry it up a mountain. To get it exchanged <laughs> for the money. <laughs> I think it'd be fucking growing mold and shit in your mouth. <laughs> it, that'd be way too hard, man. <laughs> you'd start gagging. You the smell you of it. it. You, you, you'd, and if I sewed your mouth shut so you didn't spit it out, I guarantee you that you'd swallow it. <laughs> There's no way you can keep it in your mouth. <laughs> so disgusting. He looks like somebody, too. I can't think of it. His face. Is that bootleg Tony Todd? Maybe. Oh, no. I want to fuck Tony Todd. Hey, he does look like a bootleg Tony Todd, actually, you know? Yeah, I just said that, motherfucker. I'd say, I'd say, I'd say it's a fair uh, assessment. You think Tony Todd's got a big, fat-ass dick? He's a tall guy. <laughs> and, he sh- and he shoots ropes. Wait, they didn't even... Did they have sex yet? We didn't see uh, it? I don't know. Maybe they imply... Yeah, I think they imply... Well, they're getting dressed, so they must have already had the sex. Yeah. Why did they... So here's my question. Why did they not show any titties in that scene if they're only going to show them later? So it's like, okay, so if they don't show any nudity there, it's like, okay, first of all, it's not like a Friday 13th movie. But you're like, okay, well, I guess they're kind of doing without the nudity. But they just end up showing two pairs of tits at the campfire scene later on. They so, probably, like, sometimes the actors that are better for the roles aren't the ones that want to show their tits. So they just add some stunt later boobs. on. Part six didn't have any tits in it. Really? Yeah. Does the first one have tits? Um, yeah, I think so. I think they all. How do, how do you rank episode. them? How do you rank the the Friday movies? Um, maybe your tough. top three if you can't like do all fucking ten. It's uh, kind of hard. Part five would be on one way top. It would be on your top. Yeah, the one everybody hates, but I think it's a, a fun slasher movie. And uh, part four probably. And you just like Crispin Glover, man. I just like what? You just like Crispin Glover. Yeah, pretty much. So what's three? Um What the tough. fuck is that? Yeah. They're playing is this like a, a training fucking, room? Yeah, they're playing a game. Jeez. That's the guy that wrote the movie right there. Well, he deserves to die. That bald dude, yeah. That he skinny also, stone cold Steve Austin. <laughs> he also Don't wrote. Go. 
He also wrote uh, the My Bloody Valentine remake. And he's in the movie and he's having sex with some chick. So he writes parts like that for himself. That guy looks like fucking Stone Cold, man. Bootleg Stone He does, Cold. yeah. I would do the impression, but it's one you got to warm up to. You got to like throw your voice out and, and then it sounds better. Oh. So how is Jason seeing the stuff they're seeing in order to actually hurt it? See, is he look, wearing he makeup actually, under his eyes now? Uh, see, look at that. So he sees them standing there. Wait, so they're not really there at the simulator? Yeah, they're playing a game. That's stupid. It's goofy. This is shit. It's hard to follow. But, but look what's funny, though. See... Now the simulation's over, and they're sitting there, and they have. It's things like they on their opened eyes. up the fucking box in Hellraiser. They're sitting yeah, down. but look, they they have things on their eyes. So why do they need something on their eyes, but Jason doesn't? Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. Hey, bro, yeah, what are you right, doing? You're, you're right though, because he just would have like chopped their head. He would have seen him sitting down. Yeah. Hey, why does everybody take body shots? Shoot him in the fucking head. Yeah. It doesn't matter, though. He just oh. body jump. You think, oh, that was kind of cool. Yeah, you think maybe the reason Jason doesn't look like a dead <laughs> corpse anymore is actually because uh, maybe he had to body jump and this is just a new body? Maybe. I don't fucking know. Why'd he, burn, why'd, he jump, why'd he jump into a burn victim like Kane Otter? Yeah. I, was this before or after that accident happened? I have no idea. I haven't watched this documentary. I don't know if it's out yet. I wonder what movie that happened on. Oh, it happened in a movie? Yeah, it was when he was stunt doubling for someone in a movie. It's probably one of those situations where, like, because he ended up getting a big settlement for it, so they probably even reshot hired a new stuntman and reshot the scenes that he was involved with. This movie sucks. It it, do, it just has like a really generic look to it. I can't get over. Especially yeah, seeing yeah. it in HD. Yeah, HD makes it look really bad. Because I don't remember it looking quite this cheap, even in the theater. Yeah. That chick's kind of hot. Where have I seen her? Anywhere? Um, I don't recognize her. The more she comes into the light, the less hot she gets. Damn HD. <laughs> what What were some of the? You remember any like the people in the audience? Like, were there any audible? Like, what the fuck? I don't remember. The only one that I could say I remember is that first kill where he bashes her frozen face, and then people are probably like, ooh, ooh, ah. And, and I want to say, oh, and actually, I take it back. Uh, of course, the the scene in the middle where he's where it cuts back and he's smacking the uh, fucking uh, counselor against the tree inside the fucking sleeping bag. People were dying laughing at that. Mm-hmm. Which was actually a kind of a a redo of a kill from part seven. Hmm. You know what's funny is I never watched part seven's the only one I never watched as a kid. Like, by the time I saw Part 7, I'd already seen every other movie so many times. Like, I, I knew them like the back of my hand. But Part 7, like, I was still young when I saw it because I was watching all these movies really young. I was probably like 10 or 11 when I saw Part 7. Is that Danny, Is that bootleg Danny McBride? <laughs> kind of, yeah. Or the guy from Mythbusters. Yeah, what kills me is like this chick wakes up after 400 years of sleeping and not once does she have, have a moment of, oh, my God, all my family's dead. Yeah, she took yeah. it pretty easily when they explained Like, it oh, she just wakes up. You know, at least at, even Ripley in Aliens had that moment, right? Where there's that mm -hmm. one scene where she's had them find out about her daughter and they just briefly tell her, you know, she lived to be this old. She had this many kids. She had a good life, you know, which is cool. They just they don't spend too much time on it, but they acknowledge it. Mm hmm. This guy I've seen in other shit. I just. 
Which version of uh, Part 3 do you like more? The theatrical or the... Uh... Alien 3? Oh, the director's cut. Yeah. Because, I mean, it's true, though, because the original one is just way too bleak. Um, I like, like it, though. I, I like... No, I like the bleakness, but I don't know. Like, there's... The, with uh, with uh, the the director's cut, they kind of lay on the religious aspect of the convicts, um, and of course, there's the one character who uh, who has who redeems himself and kind of sacrifices himself for the alien. You know, yeah. um, it kind of makes his whole character mean something because in the original version, man, his character doesn't mean anything. He's just in and out, and it really doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Whereas, just a couple scenes they give him, um, they give him a little bit of purpose. I don't know. Um, it's a, it's a, it's like a small glimmer of hope um, on the part of the convict. I mean, it's still bleak as hell, but you know the fact that they're dying for something, they have a faith, uh, they're kind of redeeming. You know, because remember they see the alien as like a punisher of mm-hmm. their sins and the whole thing, and uh, the whole. De- I don't know. It adds a little bit of depth to it. Yeah. But I I haven't seen the original cut in a long time because I've had. I mean, I've had the box set versions on DVD and Blu-ray for years at this point where I've only watched the, you know, the director's cut. So I'd have to go back and watch the old one at this point. The only bad thing about the director's cut was that it didn't have the ending that the theatrical version had where the alien bursts out of her chest. It didn't? Where it busts out of her chest while she's yeah, falling? Yeah, she just falls. Really? Yeah. Are you sure? I think so. <laughs> I sounded like I, a freak I show. Think- I think Are you that was sure? something they, yeah. I think that was something they added for reshoot. My mistake. Um, <laughs> I heard everything said, but uh, now I, I, gosh, man, the last couple of times that I've watched it, I could have swore I would have noticed if they didn't have that part. I just, I kind of want to watch. I've been wanting to watch it anyway, but uh, so I'll have to watch it and, and check it out. But uh, well, <laughs> to be fair, even if they took it out. It is kind of silly. Like, what are the odds that fucking thing burst out of her chest as she was falling? It's How just dramatic. satisfied, man. How dramatic. Yeah. But uh, have you ever played, you know, by the way, this is kind of a detour, but speaking of Alien 3, um, I know usually uh, movie adaptations for games suck, but man, have you ever played the Alien 3 video games? Either I the remember Genesis- you said that it was good. I never did. So I always grew up with the Genesis one, and this was back in the day where... Um, the Super Nintendo and Sega variants were different games because usually they mm-hmm. had different, like, uh, pop, you know, people making them. I kind of miss uh, that. I, yeah, I do too. I always thought, uh, I always, I just, I just always assumed the Super Nintendo version was the same. I don't know why. Back in those days, everything was always different. But uh, I think the Super Nintendo one was actually made by LJN, which is horrible. <laughs> but I know. But uh, and the Genesis one was made by. Um, uh, the people that made the Genesis version of Mortal Kombat, like, uh, fuck, Probe, and who the fuck else is it? Yeah. Uh, I can't think. But uh, anyway, I always loved the Genesis one. Anyway, and it's fun, man. It's it's a very simple, satisfying game, but it's a lot of fun. I mean, it's just uh, the, the level is like a maze. You got to go through each level, find all the prisoners that are, like, cocooned up, save all the prisoners uh, before the – for the five minute timer runs out. Right. And it's pretty fucking hard. Like it's, it's hard to do in one shot. You got to do it repeatedly and you have to know the fucking level. And sometimes the time gets so short where you have to attack, get, get the prisoners the right order, right. To make it out of the exit in time before the place goes up. Um, mm-hmm. And all the while you got to kill the aliens as they're fucking trying to stop you. It's, it's pretty satisfying and fun. They give you tons of, and you get, you know, you got to find ammo, crawl through ventilation shafts. You get, you know, a f- flamethrower, Grenade launcher, machine gun, you know, and it's it's pretty satisfying, and the difficulty level is good, and you know, uh, the the ammo to how much ammo you can find ratio is perfect. You know, it presents a challenge; you can run out. Um, mm. But the Super Nintendo one, man, I looked up YouTube videos of it. Now I got to buy it because the graphics are even fucking better. There's like cutscenes and shit, and audio from like the movie. Um, there's still there's still the element. It looks like we got to save the prisoners, but there's other. Sh- it's a little bit more Super Metroid ish. Yeah, um, I was like, man, I gotta end. I just, I gotta get it, man. You don't makes do, you wonder how the you game. don't do the ROMs. Well, yeah, I guess I could. I do have ROMs. I mean, maybe I should see if I have it on because have it on there. It kind of um, sucks though doing ROMs for SNES because sometimes they suck. 
Which is kind of funny because, like, with Sega, it was like, blast processing. It's so much better than Super Nintendo. But, like, ROMs, there's no trouble emulating those games. But there, it does have trouble emulating <laughs> some of the uh, Super Nintendo. The the only ROMs that are really tough for me the emula- is the Nintendo 64 ones. Those are shoddy as hell. And I don't know why. Yeah. It seemed like the, the the Nintendo, the Super Nintendo games that had that, what was it called? The uh, the chip in the cartridge, whatever it was. Yeah, yeah. Games like, uh, I think Yoshi's Island was one. Yeah, Yoshi's Island had it. And I think those games were like $10 more, too. Yeah. But, uh yeah, man, I, I don't know. ROMs are okay in a pinch, but, like, I prefer to sit down, like, in a, you know, on my bed or on a couch and play a game on a TV. But mm-hmm. I tell you what, man, I had a, I got to sell my, anybody want a Retron fucking five? <laughs> I swear that's the worst piece of shit ever. I know I'm not really make, I'm not really selling it really well. <laughs> um, but I fucking bought that thing, and it's just never worked. Oh, it's still I bought, I bought it. I bought it like when it was relatively new, uh, you know, around when it was new and uh, like two years ago. And then no wait, not two years ago. I bought this shit like a year and a half ago, whatever it was. And then like, it kept it worked fine. But the only problem it was doing it was it was overheating after like 20 minutes, 30 minutes of gameplay. It would overheat, then shut down and I then you'd have that. to unplug it. Yeah, you'd have to unplug it and let it cool down. It would take like 30 fucking minutes, 45 you minutes for it to off about that like trying to I was fucking pissed. I hate that company. I hate Hyperkin. Anyway, so it's like it would it wouldn't fail. 20 30 minutes, it would overheat, shut down, and then it would force itself to cool down and and it wouldn't even turn on until it was fully cooled down after like 30 45 minutes. It was very annoying. Um so I sent it in to have them fix it. That took forever. They're the worst customer service ever. Um it turns out they lost. They lost it. Hmm. I had to call in multiple people and talk to different people to get someone to finally fucking acknowledge that I had a, a ticket order and then they got it out pretty promptly, but when they sent it back, it doesn't overheat anymore, but now the fucking controls don't work. Like, you map the controllers and stuff, and there's buttons that just won't work. They won't map. Mm. So, it's like, I don't understand it. Like, I'm wondering, did they fucking give me another broken system? Did they, like, take mine just give me somebody else's? Or they actually fucking fix the shit? Like, how does how does it come back with a different problem? <laughs> it's just, and I've never been able to fucking play. They just took play. two ones that somebody, that people sent in, like, oh, this one cool is fucking overheating, this one controller don't work looks like we fixed both of them and trade it out <laughs> trade them yeah. yeah it's so they ain't gonna dumb, try man. to send it back after all this shit how long dude it's, it's, it's absolutely horrible it's just fucking horrible um and i fucking hate it on paper it should be awesome mm-hmm. but it's just not it's got a nice interface it's just it's just so overly complicated it's just a big pain in the ass and the few times that i've tried to play it um it's just such a headache after like a fucking hour of fucking with it, not really getting anywhere. You just don't want to play games anymore. Yeah. I miss my Retron three, man. That thing fucking always worked. What happened to that? that? I sold it. Huh. I sold it to, you know, make room for the Retron five. I didn't need it anymore, but now I just wish I had that. I mean, obviously it's a, uh, it's not HDMI and it's not ripping ROMs. You know, it's actually just an emulated console, you know? Yeah. But it fucking worked. Are you trying to tell me how to do my job? <laughs> Besides busting my jobs. I'm still sitting here trying to remember what, what I was building to with that. Uh, I'm sure it had game. something to do with nothing on somebody's chest, man. <laughs> I'm going to save the trouble. <laughs> I think that was it. I think it was. <laughs> I think I was building to that. I would nut on Mrs. Voorhees chest. Look at this fucking video game he's playing. Did you see that fucking look at his cockpit? Looking out into space. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it looked ridiculous. Look at that. It looks horrible. <laughs> They're gonna dock, dude. You ever seen the movie Lionheart? Uh, a long time ago, yeah. Okay, do you remember the scene where it's his first, like, quote-unquote professional underground fight? And, um... The first thing he does is just punch the guy in the balls. It's like Johnny Cage. 
Because it's like a big deal or whatever. And then the guy tries to do like a jump kick to his head and he grabs his ankle and then (laughs) just punches him right in the dick. (laughs) And um, it's funny because the guy comes up to him to intimidate him before the match starts. And he goes, you're pretty. I don't know whether to fight you or fuck you. (laughs) <laughs> and of course like when the round starts he does like a, a high kick to his head John claude grabs his ankle and just punches him in the dick with the other hand and he goes down and there's a guy in the audience with a ponytail who obviously had money on the other guy and he goes man fuck this shit I could kick this guy's ass and he's like this skinny screech powers looking motherfucker and then John and then uh, Jean Claude goes up to him really slowly and he grabs him by the collar and he goes you me right now and uh, I don't know. I, when I was a kid, I was always really immature, so I'd I'd always change the lines to "Man, I could suck this guy's dick." And then John Claude goes up to him, <laughs> "You, me, right now," because he looks like kind of kind of because it kind of looks like he's gonna kiss him. You as a so, kid is like me now. Yeah, exactly. We uh we kind of reversed. I you you de aged, <laughs> and I grew up. <laughs> Which makes you want to tell you that fucking joke that I, I told you I wouldn't say. <laughs> Is it really that bad? Um, you got to promise to bleep. I'll tell it to you if you bleep out the entire punchline. Okay. Will, you, will you bleep out the entire punchline? <laughs> All right. Okay. So, you know, in <laughs> I'm going to over hyphen and you're not going to fucking laugh. <laughs> <laughs> but it's so stupid. You remember in the we were talking about Ghostbusters two, right? Remember when they, uh, you know, uh, mm-hmm. and uh, they're, you know, yeah. So Ray, fucking right in the pussy. Shut up. And then they eat the poo poo. Egon. The most beautiful thing in the world is smoking pot and fucking on a waterbed at the same time. Yeah. And then, the, and, and then I used to go, you know, you know, the... Yeah. Okay, so... I do no sex. And then when we were kids, we used to... Grab him by the pussy. Oh, my God. <laughs> like, uh... <laughs> oh, my God, that is funny! Uh, you... <laughs> Oh, there's just a. <laughs> no, it shouldn't. All I wish to be is the um flat funnel noodles, and if you're blind here, you be the chicken cream fart on my brown funnel noodles, and if you're a guy with red hair, you be like a um barbecue spicy buffalo cream on my black brown noodles funnel because i'm the funnel so matt you might have to do a lot of beeping out <laughs> like you might have to beep out the whole joke oh and then beep went beep and then the other one beep went beep and then you know <laughs> she hot i'm an ass you gotta bleep a lot out. you gotta bleep enough out i'm trusting you <laughs> that'd be funny if i didn't no it wouldn't <laughs> imagine <laughs> i'm gonna audit this shit i'm gonna listen to this before it goes live <laughs> that's funny though because like on the last episode the original opening i had i was like he won't care and i was so <laughs> close to just publishing <laughs> uh, and yeah man i'm glad you did because i would have been because i like to listen to our shows like when i died. that's funny though because then you were like feel free to use it for mac and zach though what's the what's the difference you afraid people are going to listen to this and think you're not professional? <laughs> I don't know, man. What's the thing is, is people I work with professionally do know I do this podcast. Mm. And some of them have listened to it on occasion. So sometimes I feel like I do have to like watch certain things I say. That's funny because I talk about fucking kids. Yeah. No, I mean, this, that, you, that, my stuff's nothing compared to what you and fucking Mitchell talk about. Fuck, man. <laughs> but it's like. Who the fuck would hear that and think we were serious? <laughs> I'm sure somebody would. Or just get offended because they could. Just like, oh, that's offensive. I'm going to make a big deal about it. This is a scene I always remember for some reason. 
Yeah, let's turn my back on him. <laughs> Woo! What is he doing the Jim Carrey? Do not go in there. Woo! <laughs> That's kind of what his face looked like. What an idiot. I don't know why she'd be wearing that shirt in this situation, but I'm happy she is. It's a bootleg Michael Jai White, who in himself is already a bootleg. <laughs> of who? <laughs> so that guy's a bootleg Michael Jai White, who in himself is already a bootleg. Yeah, you know, who's Michael he Jai. a boo- bootleg? Of? Michael, my, my, Michael Jai White's a bootleg spawn. I don't know. <laughs> spawn oh, he's a, good. No, he's actually a bootleg Cuba Gooden Jr. Mm-hmm. Spawn's on, either it's on Netflix or it's coming to Netflix. Spawn's good. It's I a like shitty Spawn. movie, but but if it's on Netflix, we should do it. It's got John Leguizamo, and it's got Martin Sheen. Don't make it good, man. It's got fucking Dylan from New Nightmare. Doesn't make it good. He's it's rotten. That? Yeah, he's the poor kid. Oh yeah, his dad's trying to make him eat the fucking pizza with maggots on it. He's like, it's rotten, and he doesn't want to eat it. And he's like, you're gonna waste perfectly good trash food. <laughs> I've been wanting kid. to go back and watch like. Because we were talking about doing, like, we, as a joke, we said, wouldn't that be good if, like, or awesome if, like, we did all the Friday 13th movies and just released them on Friday 13th? Because there's one coming up in October. And, like, I was kind of thinking, like, I'm kind of starting to like that idea. But there's no way we'd be able to do it, probably. And I was Dude, did you see that saliva string? I how, did noticed, have, how did they have that? And she's a robot. I didn't. I didn't notice it this time, but I noticed it when I watched it earlier. Yeah, it's gross. If it was me, I'd be. They're gonna start kissing like Japanese girls and spit in each other's mouths. Mm-hmm. I let her piss in my mouth. It's pretty gross, man. But it's a step up of your uh, pedophilia humor. So. <laughs> So if you were like with a chick and she just said, I like to get pissed on, you wouldn't be like, okay. Um, no, no, I wouldn't be down for it at all, but I got to say, what? I'd, ra- I'd rather, you know, if, if, if there was a gun to my head or there was a million dollars at stake, I can honestly tell you, I'd rather piss on somebody than be pissed on, <laughs> you know, yeah, I can, I can easier, I can more easily visualize a toilet I'm pissing into than visualize me being the toilet. If it was like, I like the waterworks, I'd be like, all right. Gross, what the f- no sweat off my sack. It's not me. What if it was, uh, what if it was ass piss? You know what I mean? <laughs> Shit on. I'd probably do no, it too. No, like, I'm talking like diarrhea ass piss. Yeah, I'd probably do it. It's gross, dude. Well, for money. If that's what they want, I give it to them. If it was a big payday and I could be blindfolded and make sure my mouth was covered so I, you know, prevent any backsplash getting on my chin, that'd be disgusting. <laughs> um, and that way I could also never know who did it. And then when I wake up, the person's gone and there's a shower nozzle right there for me to clean up. Yeah, why not? Mm-hmm. See, I'd, I'd piss on this chick if she wanted it. It's gross, man. How, how demeaning. You couldn't fucking look at her again. You're going gross shop the next She's day. She's the one normal. that wanted it, though. I know, man. And I, I wouldn't be able to stop laughing. I piss on myself all the time. Or I used to when I was a kid. I met this girl one time. I did that shit for free. Listen to me, motherfucker. I, went, I met this girl one time. And she told me. um, Not even a girl. She was like a grown woman, right? She was like in her, you know, this is actually, this is actually a couple years ago. And she was like, uh, mid thirties. She, Mm -hmm. um, she told me her fantasy was for a man to piss in her mouth. Oh, I remember you told me this. Yeah. yeah and then, and, and it was like gross. And she acted like, I was like, well, no, I'm not, I wouldn't swallow it. It's like just the thought of it filling to the brim and just running down do her it, chin. Dude. I'd be uh, like, I want to make that happen. For She's you. like, yeah, I want to, I want to, I just want a guy to like take a shower with me and me be on my knees and him piss in my mouth and, and fill my, fill, fill, the, fill my mouth to the brim with his piss, but not need to give it. me That's her gross. number. Yeah, I'm like, I was fucking, I told her, I was like, man, I couldn't fucking stop laughing if that was me. That's fucking ridiculous. Like, how could, how could you take that fucking seriously? Like, <laughs> if you, if you give her that, then she got to do whatever fantasy you got. That's fucking ridiculous. I want oh, we you were to talking lick about my me. ass. <laughs> God. 
Oh, it's just so fucking gross, man. Like, how demeaning when you just think about anybody you know getting pissed in their mouth. Like, that's fucking absolutely horrible. Some people, what if it's a nasty orange morning piss? <laughs> like, what if it's a stinky, foul, fucking disgusting, orange, red, I need medical help piss? <laughs> like, does she do... Does she do a test first and make sure that, okay, it's a clean, healthy piss, just a little she yellow? She wants been piss drinking. in her mouth. She don't give a fuck. You know? It's just ridiculous. <laughs> like, is it the same if, what if you can't go on command? What if you just piss in a jar and keep it in the fridge, and when she's horny, you just uh, take out that mason jar and pour it in her mouth? It's probably got to come straight from the tap. It's <laughs> You're right. You're right, right. It's only <laughs> sexy if it's coming from the tap. <laughs> it's so fucking gross I, I just think it. it's the silliest fucking thing ever It sounds so fucking silly <laughs> <laughs> I remember <laughs> I, um, I used to work at daycares And uh, believe it or not I'm good with kids That's why I would never let Zach near you know, kids. I hate kids <laughs> What do you want? What are you, Hulk Hogan? I hate kids. Mm-hmm. Uh, Mr. Nanny. No, but I used to work in daycares and um, I used to work with kids and stuff like that. I even studied ECD, early childhood development, for a little while. But when I was working at daycares a long time ago, <laughs> this kid, one of the kids in one of the classes that I was working in teaching, he, uh, he goes, he's like, he was telling me about, like, you know, kids are scared of stuff, right? They're scared of Boogeyman, whatever. He was talking mm-hmm. about being scared of Ram, um, Ranjan. I'm what's like, that? I don't, that's what I fucking said. I was like, what's, I was like, what's, what's the Ranjan? And it was this cute little, you know, young little kids. And he draws me a picture of the Ranjan. And you know what it fucking is? What? <laughs> He drew a picture of, like, a boy's face. I guess it was him. He drew, like, shitty crayon. He's, like, a young kid. This is, like, three, four years old. Three years old. And he drew a picture of a face and a mouth wide open, which is, like, a little boy. And it was, like, a pig shitting in the mouth. Shitting in this boy's mouth. And he had an arrow pointed at the pig saying, Ranjan. Oh, like, dude, I would have I would have fucked with him, dude. I'd be like, oh, I hear about that guy, dude. He comes into your house when you're <laughs> sleeping. He shits in the kids' mouths. <laughs> I was the fucking craziest thing, man. Like, I wanted to, uh, I wish I could have snapped a picture of this drawing so bad. Like, can I hang this in my fridge at home? <laughs> like, it was the weirdest fucking kid. Kids that, draw the silly Dude, that stuff, should man. be your next script you write. The Ranjan, like Baba Duke. Yeah, just write it. Yeah, Duke. exactly. Write it just like it happened. The character's working with kids, and he tells them that. He thinks it's ridiculous, but it turns out to be true. <laughs> it's like Tales from the Hood, the David Allen Greer sketch. Or the yeah, kids drawing awesome. pictures of the monster yeah, yeah. in class. <laughs> that's the, that's the one I always remember from that movie. That's a good. That's a good one. That's good. Yeah. The the one with the the dolls always creep me out. Mm-hmm. That one. Now too. it's just stupid. Everything about that movie's stupid, but it's oh, a pretty good, good skit though. Like that David Allen Greer skit. Is it supposed to be metaphorical? Like he's just a monster, where he's like you know a, an abuser, or is he supposed to be literally a beast, or is that just the way he saw him as an abuser? Yeah, I would, either way works. Yeah, it does work. Uh-oh, See, look, it, Alice from the Resident Evil movies. Like, if I heard this movie was coming out and it's like, oh, the first look at Jason, and then it was just a screenshot, that screenshot right there, I would have been like, what the fuck? Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> well, what about when he's all futuristic later, for God's sakes? It looks like Super Shredder. That would be that'd be better, but I mean, even then, whenever because they showed that as a way to like promote the movie, and it was like I don't care. I I like the hockey mask. Don't take off the hockey mask. It works. They were where'd she get that kind of firepower, man? That flung him across the room. It's the futuristic guns, like the ones Arnold wanted in Terminator. A face plasma rifle, the forty water range. Dude, she's like uh, Aeon Flux or Ultraviolet before those characters even existed, or Alice, Resident Evil. Aeon Flux, I was like, back in the 90s, that show was on MTV, cartoon. Well, it was a movie. Yeah. Did the cartoon come after? I had to have. The cartoon was before. It was like, I think it was a comic book character or something. Oh, was it? Yeah. 
It was back during, remember when they had that show, The Max, and The Head, and all those? No, I remember Farm Club. <laughs> that that wasn't on them, too. That was on, uh, what was it, like, USA, or something like that? Was Farm Club on USA, really? Yeah, yeah I guess it was. Something. <laughs> that was the first time the great fucking Fred Durst showed the video for Break Stuff. And he got pissed after they showed it because it was the wrong edit. Was he really mad, though? Probably not. I was on YouTube watching old episodes of Loveline. <laughs> was that the one on MTV with the Dr. Drew guy? Dr. Drew and Adam Carolla, yeah. and they take the calls. Um, but I always had, liked how they'd have the people in the audience, and they'd stand behind like the tube where you couldn't make out their face. And they'd be there live, and they'd be like telling their problem. Yeah, remember the dating show they had in the 90s? Yeah, Singled Out. With yeah, the, had Chris Hardwick and fucking Jenna McCarthy. Jenny, yeah, Jenny McCarthy. They Chris like Hardwick. had. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Was it Chris Hardwick? Yeah, it was, was Chris that Hardwick. guy. Yeah. God, he, he was around back then too. Yeah, that's where he started. That's the first time I ever fucking saw him. Was on Singled Out. I was just and gonna mention. Like, yeah, I was just gonna mention that they they did like they referenced it in an episode of Boy Meets World. Or, uh, oh, it, Eric! Didn't Eric go on it? Yeah, Eric was on it. He went on single day. Out. Yeah, that's Chris a good. Harlow. That was a good shot where his head blew up right there. So I'm gonna guess this is where he gets the futuristic regeneration body, right? Yeah, which is funny because they know that shit how it works. They see him dead right on the fucking thing where those come out of. Why would they just leave him there? Hey, stupid. It's all movie stupid, man. Like, do we do we even know any of the names of any of these characters? I'm sure we we're supposed to, but no one really does. I got to give this movie props, man. They got two black characters. You know, they usually only give one minority. You know, there's like one black guy in the whole group of white people. They actually have two. And he's living. And they're Is both that, alive. I noticed that. I noticed like. You ever notice that that's like thought of as a big like te like uh, what's it called cliche, but it's not yeah. all that common. If you think about, it. there's not a whole lot of movies, uh, horror movies I can think of off the top of my head where the black guy dies first. There's a couple, but that's just uh, you know coincidence. One that comes to mind is like Scream Two, but I don't even count that because it's, it's self aware. Yeah. There's not a whole lot I can think of. See, she kind of looks like Neb Campbell there. You know, and it's always... That chick kind of looks like the chick that played uh, The Rage, Carrie 2, that crappy movie. <laughs> we were going to do that at one point. When it was Zachary Ty that. Bryan. Fucking <laughs> the only thing I remember, Home Improvement. <laughs> yeah. The only thing I remember is when he was like talking to his friend. He's like, oh, I just... It was just... I just wanted to get my nut. And I thought <laughs> that was the funniest thing ever. Him saying, I don't, don't even remember it. My mom actually loved that movie. She watched it over and over again. We owned it. I like the first one. I don't like Carrie. I really don't. I like Brian De Palma. Or I think he, he makes some good sleazy movies. I just don't think Carrie's that good. Um, Brian De Palma. I mean, I'm not a fan of. I'm. Not, I always say it. I'm not a fan of directors. I'm just a fan of movies. Like Brian De Palma. Yeah, I mean, like I like Carlito's Way. You know, um, yeah. I've never been able to appreciate Scarface. Um, you know, I don't like Carrie. I love the original Alien, but that doesn't mean I like every Ridley Scott movie. You know, a, a good movie's not just good because the fucking director. I'll say that right now. Yeah, it's a perfect. It's a perfect storm of things. So a lot of good directors make shit movies. Mm -hmm. I can't think of any director that's flawless. You know, I'd say yeah. Tarantino's fairly consistent because he's kept his repertoire pretty small, pretty his, his filmography pretty limited. But you know. I don't know. Uh, oh. But even his movies are not all equal. Hateful Eight was kind of boring. I liked it all right. Yeah, it was all right. It was just kind of, eh. You could tell it was a play, and it probably shouldn't have been a movie. Once you saw the ending, it kind of, like, made it hard to, like, rewatch it because it was like, wait. Yeah, you know everything that's happening. You know Channing Tatum's yeah, under the fucking boards yeah, of the it's house. Like why the, he had plenty of time to... There were, there were parts of that movie where what's her name was sitting there playing guitar and everybody was like not even looking at her why the fuck did he just show himself then grab her and leave 
Are we going to see his uh, face CGI regenerate? If we see those ants. We don't really see it happen. It happens off screen. We see it and He start. comes out like Super Shredder. His head his like super- blew up like it was like a hollow peanut or, or a hollow like, <laughs> M&M. That's a space peanut. Yeah. It made, me, it made me think of that part in uh, Tommy Boy where he's like, they have a thin candy shell. I'm surprised you didn't know that. <laughs> Ugh, I can actually hear you getting fatter. <laughs> yeah, this looks so bad. Mm-hmm. This is like, I feel like I'm watching The Langoliers or any other Stephen King made for TV <laughs> miniseries. Whenever I, like, when I'm flipping through the channels and The Langoliers is on, usually sci fi, I always like to think that it's like, this is what would ha- this is what it looked like if critters had CG critters. <laughs> and it's funnier when you think of it like that. I just remember Bronson Pinchot slowly ripping the paper. You know, when he's in it, yeah, and it get, I never got too far. Oh, it gives him the orgasm eyes, like to 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 relax himself because of anxiety and what's going on. He like slowly rips a, a piece of loose leaf paper in half, and he's like, his eyes are like rolling to the back of his head <sighs> as he's ripping it. It's fucking stupid. <sighs> and it's got Dean Stockwell, aka Al from Quantum Leap, <laughs> which I fucking love. Al from. See, Quantum look, Leap. we just saw him still fucked up, but look, look how quick. Literally just a second ago, he was like still fucked up, and he's getting ready to walk in and be revealed right here. So I get it; they repaired his body, but why is his entire body like fucking like robotic and shit? Yeah, the, I mean the black the black guy. Everybody else that we've seen get those ants; they repair their flesh and they look like normal. He looks like he drank the vial of ooze in Turtles too. Yeah, like that's probably he's not- superhuman. Does Kane Hodder play this one too, or do they get Kevin Nash also? It's Kane Hodder, yeah. I could try. They got Diesel. Diesel to play uh, Shredder. They could add the that Jason to the Friday 13th game. It'd be cool. They didn't? No. It's got uh I wonder two. why. I don't know. Maybe maybe it'll be added later. Maybe they want something for huh. DLC or something. This is this is taking a book right out of Tur- Turtles 2, Secret of the Ooze. It just kind of reminds me of, look at him. Fuck you. It's like, fuck you, Knuckle. Knuckle. I ain't playing Knuckle. <laughs> Listen, hey, you're hitting them, them curbs too fucking fast. You almost made me spill my yak. Uh, he's like, Goo, you fired. <laughs> Why you find me, Pete? Is this your cousin? Good. Then you fire. <laughs> you fire. You too, Roach. Why you fire me for? He's gonna fire everybody that's in his fucking store. <laughs> that's kind of cliche. Wow, this looks amazing. Wow, I'm blown away! It, it 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 does remind me, man. It's like a uh, Leprechaun Four, and even this movie, it so clearly looks like a fucking cheesy set, and they just splice it with exterior CGI space shots to give yeah. the illusion like they're in outer space. Like I get it, they're in outer space, and it just takes you out of it. If anything, yeah. Like I'd rather them not show us those external like CGI space shots. Mm-hmm. Look at that holding the head. Yeah, he she's holds just, it like that through the see so just so that she's off can, screen. Yeah, <laughs> did it show her neck and shoulder? Did it put peep? <laughs> did it poke up? That's so stupid. Looks so. See, you could just fucking put her head down at your cock and let her suck. <laughs> you get some baggy pants, and she could be sucking your dick, and no one notices. Yeah, reanimator style. <laughs> Look at it. she looks like she's being choked. I wonder why. <laughs> this is kind of like the scene from uh, Alien. What's it called? Resurrection. Resurrection. Yeah. Is he gonna get uh, sucked into a hole, and all his innings are gonna be sucked out through the hole? Yeah, she does. Really? Yeah. Fuck. You don't really see it though. It just ha- it happens, and then we just see the very end of like goo going through the hole. 
And this, they, this is a straight ripoff of Alien Resurrection. Then, yeah, it's a, ri- it's a ripoff of that kill. I think it's happened in movies before too. Wish she would just happen already. Man, she's got some strength, man. Look at her fingers. She's just holding on. It's kind of funny, too. The way they edit it, it makes it look like she just decides, like, oh, fuck it, and just let's go. Uh, I don't know if she's supposed to do that or not. I don't know. Like, even if you even if you let go and you got flung up to where that hole is, why couldn't you just hold your hands up against the wall and keep your body from getting sucked on the hole, you know? Hmm. Like, I get it. It's pretty powerful, but... What the fuck? That was fast. <laughs> that was stupid. What like a wasted just... opportunity, though, for like something cool visually. Yeah, probably didn't have the money. They yeah, spent then... it all on what? I don't know. <laughs> the fucking CG ants. They phoned it in, man. They knew Jason versus uh, Freddy versus Jason was coming. Like what? Two years later. I don't think they did. I think at this point, the movie still was, like, just in limbo. What year did this come out? I like how there's no... I like how he's now ripping through the door and there's no uh, vacuum anymore. Yeah, that's absolutely stupid. At least Freddy vs. Jason is stupid but fun. It's got a payoff, you know? Yeah. And it was great to watch in the theater. I didn't get to see the movie come out. Probably 2001. I want to say. I remember it sat on the shelf for a couple years, too, so it was technically done before. 2001, yeah. Yeah, Freddy vs. Jason would be fun to do. Hey, up here! Why did he he lose his guttural voice when he said that? (laughs) You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh. Hey, asshole! (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> whenever I was watching uh, I think I watched uh, Jason 7 or I watched Jason 7 and Jason 8 I was just kind of in the mood for some reason and I have them all on here and because I got that Blu-ray box set but like mm-hmm. I was looking at it on IMDB and I saw that there's a fan made movie that shows up and the uh, followed by is says Jason part X to hell and back or something like that and i was like i looked through it and just like i kind of want to watch this just just out of curiosity and it's on fucking youtube i might check it out it looks pretty funny i've been suckered into a couple of those like halloween fan movies and stuff and they're always shitty Mm. it was shot in like 93 like okay a, a, a year or two after jason goes to hell but Jason looks hilarious in it. I don't know what the fuck they thought. Jason Goes to Hell really came out like 91, 92? Um, maybe it was oh. like 95. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's, it Let feels like Jason Goes to Hell had to have been more a little bit more mid-90s. 93. Wow. I can't believe it took him eight years to make another Jason sequel. Mm-hmm. In this one. This is the fucking movie they came back with. <laughs> See, this is why you don't make. You can make it. They could have taken the budget they had for this movie and made a legit Jason movie that was grounded, and it would have looked like a Jason movie. But when you try and make a fucking sci-fi movie in outer space and you don't have the money for it, it just fucking just turns into schlock. It's just absolute garbage. Mm-hmm. There's just certain movies you don't make on a certain price point. Yeah, you know. Well, weren't they not? Wasn't that? Uh, weren't those ants nice enough to give Jason some nostrils? To <laughs> this this ending's funny too. We we we're almost at the end of the movie, and we haven't seen him go into the campground and smack the the counselors. Is yeah, gonna happen? it happens right now. Oh, it does. Yeah. Wow, look at me being He a doesn't even have the Uber Jason outfit that that long. No. About 15 minutes, maybe, screen time. Yeah, th- th- this movie, there's like no intensity. There's no scare factor of Jason like hunting for him. You know what I'm saying? It's just. Yeah. The the, uh, the music is a lot different, too. It just. Yeah, it's su- not. 
I'm surprised that Harry Manfredini did it. He must have just decided to try something different. That entire background looks fake. CGI. It's like a giant yeah. screen. You know, they're on like a set and there's a screen back it there. Re- yeah, this is it really looks cheap, like generic. On this but I'm shot. saying that, that entire background with the water and the sky is just a fucking screen. Yeah. It's horrible. It's a set. But this the way the, this chick sounds hilarious. You want to smoke some pie? I was laughing my ass off at that, and I had to f- record it and send it that, to you. You can almost see the green screen lines where that water starts. It looks fucking horrible. Mm-hmm. I why guess. would you? Why would you not like if they can sit there and make whatever the hell they want with this like uh, virtual reality thing? Clearly, they created Camp Crystal Lake. Which, by the way, how they fucking know about his relation to Camp Crystal Lake? Do they have this all this information on him? She does. Uh, she yeah. She oh. said it first, but it's. But funny I'm saying like they, if you had this technology, why would you not be living in a in a giant like threesome porno like for always? Yeah. It's like that on Star Trek too. They had that shit and they didn't fucking just hang out in there. <laughs> I'd program these chicks to just start sucking his dick, see what he does. <laughs> see how he reacts to it. They just pull out a big horse cock <laughs> with like two heads. Listen to her laugh, it's eerie. It's fucking weird. <laughs> I know that was weird. Oh, I thought he was hitting her against a tree, or does he do that at the end? Yeah, he does. That's actually oh, a kill. You that looks like do. a fucking pillow inside that. She's hitting that body with a pillow. Yeah, and that the little moving robot thing in there looks funny. Oh, I thought that was a real person, and he was hitting the person with like a pillow or something. Like you know, that's what I think it was. <laughs> that's a kill you can do in the game if somebody happens to be hiding in a tent. And Jason, do you play as Jason or you play as counselors? Uh, it's like a t- like a bunch of counselors, and then one person at random is choosing, cho- you know, gets to play Jason. Is it more fun to play as Jason or the yeah. hunter or the hunted? I like playing as Jason the m- more. Can you kill Jason if you're a counselor? Yeah, it's pretty. Uh, it's basically to kill Jason. It's just a big reference to the movies. You have to have Tommy. And um, a girl who has to put on his mom's sweater and, like, you know, kind of stun him with that. And then Tommy has to come in with the machete and just start hacking at him. So if you're playing as Jason, you come up to somebody that has the Pamela sweater, you just, like, can't, you're immobilized. Yeah. Yeah. There's a couple things you got to do first. You got to give, do enough damage to him so that his mask falls off. And then, like, the- hey, it looks like uh, the Red Power Ranger in the new shitty Power Ranger movie. I yeah. watched that last night, by the way. It sucks. Oh yeah, <laughs> it sucks. And, so and the re- the reviews were pretty good. Like it was like you know seventy between seventy seventy five percent Rotten Tomatoes. Uh, the general consensus was that it was okay, pretty good, or you know what? even like <laughs> a little better than expected. Not great, but it's actually not bad. You want to just th- talk about it and not do a, a podcast? I just it? I just fucking. I, it was hard. To, it didn't keep my interest. I'll tell you that much. It was just tough to really stay engaged yeah, in it. By the time it got to like the middle point, like an hour in, I was like, "Yeah, this movie's okay." Did and you watch like, it? I didn't know you watched it. Yeah. Then the second half, it really just even like the first. I always laugh at this shot. Whoosh, that's so, oh, so goofy. Stupid. And then there's CG where he's kind of like, "Is he dead?" That's it. Yeah, that's how they. They defeat them. They they fall back to Earth, and they land in the lake. That, that's extremely anticlimactic, though. That's how he's dead. Yeah, it's cheesy as fuck. Like the guy just we don't the guy just the the other guy dies too. The Red Ranger guy. I think so. That's just so stupid. And he's See, got look, that fucking head. Yeah. So I just I'd let the I put that fucking head to suck my dick, and I'd start you know. They're both. It's like it's like they're flying together. It's romantic. Yeah. Nuts to I like, butts. He, Look at he's him. Kinda, yeah, he's kind of doing the thing from Austin Powers where he puts the girl in front of him to to absorb the fall when they're falling from the building. 
Oh, look, it's the same fake set. Look at the green screen. You yeah, look. It's- yeah, when it zooms in, you could you could see like the green line around his hair. Here in a second. See, look, this is supposed to be 400 years in the future, and Earth looks the same. Yeah. They're, they're closed. Uh, here's the green line. They look fucking horrible on his hair. <laughs> Let's go check it out. So, hypothetically, they would have had a sequel where it was on Earth in the future, and it would have been futuristic Jason. Mm-hmm. He probably, just find, he probably just find another hockey mask that happens At, at to what like point does Camp Crystal Lake shut down? You're telling me it's still fucking... Are, are we sure that's Camp Crystal Lake? <laughs> Good thing he didn't just fall in, like... Like, Camp Crystal... I, what? I can't even talk straight. Camp Crystal Lake might just be a fucking, like, a business place now. I think it'd be funny if, like, out. he crash-landed, and wherever he crash-landed where the sequel took place, he could have, like, landed in Branson, Missouri... And he's like, mm-hmm. you know, all the old people and like the fucking Branson Strip, Andy Williams, and just a bunch of hokey shit. Or they could he could have landed in Vegas, man. You got Jason in Vegas. Leprechaun did it. They pretty funny. Wow, yeah, I like that movie's, one too. This movie's pretty shitty. Um, I there's not really any redeeming value here. Um, I was kind of hoping. See, at least Leprechaun Four is funny. Mm-hmm. Leprechaun 4 is really bad actually Leprechaun 4 looks even cheaper in this movie that movie looks fucking really cheap it's fucking horrible but at least it's got some redeeming qualities it is funny it's so stupid it's funny this movie tries to be funny and it's not and there's yeah. just not enough there's not enough of the schlock it's just it's just bad the bootleg uh, Jessica Alba kind of made up for it though <sighs> yeah I don't know she never got naked though So and the chick with the, the sh- that doesn't know how the shirts work and had this open shirt the whole time was cool. I don't know. It's lame. How do you guys all out there like it? How do you rank this movie? Jason X. Like I said, I wanted to walk out of it. I kind of want to walk out of it again on this podcast. Not going to lie. <laughs> kind of want to just like disappear. Go Fuck on this movie. Yeah, it's bad. Um, So. I don't know. I We had talked about doing this before. I'm glad we did it. But. um. Yeah, I think it's time that uh, we do a good movie next. Um, what? We gotta yeah. do Freddy Got Fingered next, you said. Oh, that's right. Not a- Oh, see, I thought you thought that was good. It is good. <laughs> that's why I said But I know you're movie. gonna hate it. <laughs> um, I don't know what we're gonna do next. It's either gonna be Freddy Got Fingered or it's probably gonna, or, or either Ernest goes to uh, Slam Dunk Ernest or Ernest goes to school. I think it's gonna be one of those. Hell yeah. So we'll see. I say we just do Freddy Got Fingered right fucking now. Just a double feature. We just keep the podcast rolling. We package them. We could start doing double features. Jason X, Freddy Got Fingered. <laughs> I doubt people would watch them all in one sitting. No, it's fucking horrible. It's <laughs> random. But uh, now let us know what you guys think. And of course, uh, we, we were, like I said, always slowly but surely trying to get through the uh, recommendations and the requests and all that. Freddy Got Fingered got requested, so... Zach's always driving me fucking crazy to do that movie. Um, I think we'd have to have Mitchell on for that one. That's, you know, that's definitely you and Mitchell both on board for that one. So basically, we wouldn't be watching it at all. Because <laughs> it just gets out of control. Yeah, um, yeah it's so silly. Um, but let us know. Let's add to that pile. Let's add to that list. Let us know what you want to see. There's really nothing off limits. You want to give us some 90s nostalgia, some 80s nostalgia, some schlocky shit. You want to give us some straight up horror um, something serious, something good, something bad. We like it all. Um, yeah, let us know in the comments. YouTube, subscribe there. I always want to say, um, if you guys are strictly watching or listening, sorry, on YouTube, go check us out on iTunes. Subscribe to us on iTunes because the non-neutered versions are going up there <laughs> where we can keep music, we can have funny clips, we can basically have them totally unedited, and they're just they're just so much better. But if, you know, you prefer YouTube, that's amazing as well. If you do go to iTunes, leave us five-star rating, all that stuff. That helps tremendously. And, uh, Zach, I think we're going to be going on Google Play soon, right? Right, right? Google? Mm-hmm. I think you have to do it because you know the uh, – or we might have to get River to do it since he knows the email and all that shit. We'll figure that shit out, everybody, for all you Google fans. Mm-hmm. For all you Androiders. But yeah, so uh, like I said, like, follow, all that stuff, social media, and be on the lookout for uh, RevivalHouse.net coming soon, the all-new website. And uh, that's all I got for now. So adios, everybody.